Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do a random reading. I don't know, I woke up today, earlier today, and Aquarius was just in my mind. Um, a lot of my clients are Aquarius. Something is, something is ending for a good amount of Aquarius. What I saw when I was shuffling off camera, was like someone opening a door it was darkness behind them but when they opened the door there was like light so i don't know you may I, you can interpret that any kind of way you want to just feels like the aquarius is coming out of into something much better of course we know the dark and the light polar opposite so if your life has been you know what you may deem as not so good it, it could very well be turning around by just you walking through the door, whatever that may mean for you. Um, definitely big endings, new beginnings coming up for the Aquarius. There's like a, I don't know, like a hold. There was or there is there was or there is a hold on some of you like there was someone holding you back or there was an energy or there was something that maybe you kind of picked up and, and brought with you you know on your journey now it's something is relinquishing itself it says that the past is trying to relinquish its hold on you live in the present make some necessary lifestyle change that's the judgment card um let's see what's going on what do you have to tell my aquarius and i know that's not going to resonate for all so what and when i was shuffling off camera i had the idea that i'll do one spread it's going to resonate with a few aquarius if not all and then i'll do another spread Hopefully, we'll pick up different energy for a different set of Aquarius, okay? So, what what can you tell Aquarius about the past, past energy? Past energy for Aquarius. Okay. We have the Ace of Fire, the Seven of Fire. So, the Aquarius was definitely all about a new opportunity, some career advancement, once again, change your life. It's something about you changing. You may have manifested this. Some of you pray for change. In the in the midst of waiting for that change, in the interim of that, things started happening all around you. And you start questioning, is this the change that I pray for? Because it wasn't coming how you thought, how you envisioned, how you planned. So then you started to question and distrust the process the seven of fire once again the same thing you started to defend you wanted to defend your beliefs and your decisions um you may have to you may have had to even do that in certain relationships maybe even in a marriage uh family dynamic people were like why are you doing that why are you selling that why are you getting rid of that why are you going there why are you moving here what are you doing questioning you know um you and your choices not seeing that you know the seven is all about control getting in control of uh about achievement first comes control then achievement so they they didn't see your process they don't see your plan they don't see that this was a part of you getting back in control of something relationship business partnership love relationship friendships spiraling out of control in your life you just feeling like there was an element of your life being out of control and that was about reining the horses back in that chariot governs the sevens getting it back in control but others questioning your judgment your beliefs and your decisions and, and what you were doing in regards to that it says stand your ground because you know what you're doing in order to get back in control of a situation this is this is past energy so for some of you you've already done it 
um not right nine of water then this is flipped out the deck nine of cups because you knew that you needed to in order to have bring back the fulfillment of life and the joy of life and just the love of life that's on this card you had to release you had to by way of releasing was you getting back in control other people just saw it as um, things crumbling down you breaking down uh you being in a tough in a, a tough spot uh you not being able to maintain okay uh wow two of water but that wasn't the case you did this because you wanted to usher in what you felt like you were without whatever your 10th cup is you wanted to be in a place where you could actually manifest this you can't have newness when you're sitting right in the midst of old stuff so it was about releasing whether it was relationship business home people friendships job you know whatever uh what happened to you in the past if it was a trauma drama releasing and relinquishing it all so that you could um have positive resolution to this conflict that is or that was your life in the past at that point uh forgiveness is on this card also the two of water or the two of cups you wanted something more in your life that could marry your energy better you wanted a soul connection whether that be of course in romantic relationship but the two of cups governs more than just romance and emotion the two governs first of all money and material possessions and we, we just had a long conversation about relinquishing things um everyday habits routines your work ethic uh the exchange so some of you wanted to bring in something that was divine and that is set on your path that was right for you some of you wanted to bring in an energy of fully committing to one position because you understood or you understand now that you have been in a place of lack or a holding place because you have failure or, or fear of commitment now before you jump down my throat oh i don't have fear of commitment i was married for 20 years that's not the definition of fear of commitment fear of commitment is when you say okay i'm doing this whatever this may be you're doing it and you and it's going well and then the tide turns and it's not going so well and it may be dwindling and it may be just kind of dissipating altogether breaking down now you jump out of it whatever that was you, you jump out you i don't want to be a part of this anymore this is not fun this is not good uh this is not what i want uh this is not what i signed up for so then you jump out of the commitment that you made to this that is where your fear comes in the fear is in not knowing hence the the aquarius the air sign you know your affirmation is i know not knowing when the tide will then turn back for the better or not willing to see it through so that it will turn and you can be in that tide turning for the better there lies your fear of commitment you are the person or you are the personality that if it's not going or doing well for a very long time then you 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 then take yourself out of it either energetically either physically emotionally or all together you you bow out when spirit is asking you to stick with it because the wheel turns for all of us it will be good it will be bad it'll be ups it'll be downs 
people you cannot always jump ship and you can't always have a plan b c d e f g one two three you know you can't do it you have to commit commitment is is full on it's not oh, i commit as long as this is going well so there lies for some of you your fear of commitment okay all right so what we have for the near future for some of you who made necessary and huge change in your life whether it was releasing relationship uh, material possessions status going into a new career sector just completely an upheaval and an o overhaul of your life um what we have in the near future is what do we have for the aquarius the tool fire nice you being able to push things forward you have come into your own now you're able to f to forge new partnerships and it says that you can either stick with the tried and true or the the new and unknown um but whatever you do continue to move forward this is really good um you you go from the ace of fire to the two of fires very um sequential like you know this is good this is very very good um you're at a place of making real decision about what path you're to take or your own you also you have done the planning two wow nothing two 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 some of you could have be seeing two 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 a lot two 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 um this is your life changing two 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 means there's going to be a lifestyle change being on um, so now you're at a place of indecision did i make the right decision um you may even be at a place of stagnation or a stalemate because this now in your mind is forward movement this opportunity to commit to something new or a new path brings you to a place of uh, indecision it's not what I've always done. It's not what I know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm at a place of of just not knowing. The chariot. But once again, it says move forward. You, you have achieved something that most can't or won't ever. You have been in the gutter. You brought yourself out of the gutter. And now you're in a place of either public recognition you made some very important achievement in your life only because you disciplined yourself and you told yourself to plan you may have even told others to plan you may have even gotten stuck here at one point but then you moved on you progressed some of you this is about actual moving like this is like an actual physical move now in the present where do i move where will i move what are my options? Should I move? Will I be successful? It says yes. It just self-discipline and willpower will get you through. Okay. The near future for this set of Aquarius who has changed their life completely. Seven of air. In the near future, you might need to revise some plans. You might need to plan in secret. It's more that meets the eye here. Um, for some of you, it'll just be bad timing. Mercury retrograde is coming up. Seven of water. Wow, okay. And you're going to have to make some big decision that, you're emo that emotionally stirs you and puts you in confusion. Remember, when you are confused, that is not of the God of the universe, but that is of a lower vibration. So when you find yourself confused, do know that you need to get under some spiritual mentorship. Whatever that is to you, whatever, it can be whatever to you. So that you can then get clarity, a clear mind. So that you can make clear and, dis and uh, distinct choices in your life, okay? You're going to have to stop procrastinating too. 
okay in the near future uh, come out of fear lots of fear here because it's new and it's unknown i don't know i don't know the king of water it says that maybe someone a person is showing up here now um they are trustworthy and they maybe even make give you good advice this could be someone this is a nurturer this could be someone who is well traveled culture this could be medical field they could be in the medical field they can help you see the position that you're in differently because you're you are an air sign this might be a water sign coming in there's someone with water heavy in their chart to where um, they help you feel it through feel whatever this is through for the near future what's going on what is this decision that needs to be made maybe in regards to relationship marriage or some business contract what is this about what is this in regards to? okay all right it might be in regards to ooh. So for some of you, this is a situation of father and, and friends, divorce. For some of you, it's a situation of um, before I say that, I'm going to pull another card. Definitely. This may be a situation of someone secretly, like I said, someone secretly not liking you, hating you, or hating on you. There's an air of jealousy here. Just outright hate for you. This could be an air sign. It could be any sign. But there is someone who you need to question their motive here. They may show up as a friend. But they absolutely hate you. They don't, they dislike you greatly. You may have to divorce this person. And it's going to be hard to do. It might even be a family member or, or someone who comes up. Someone you have to release the hate for also. Some of you are just really not, you know, all together in love with the relationship that you have with your father and you're going to have to release those or, or make the decision to get in control of this relationship by um, re divorcing either the hatred that you have for your father or divorcing your father altogether if things don't change there is someone who's bringing a lot of discord and dissension and problems they make things hard harder than they should be um we also have a king of fire just popped out could be the father of your children also you could be divorcing the father of your children you feel like you hate them <laughs> or they hate you it's hard to deal with this person maybe they listen to their friends um there's someone who secretly secretly hates you um they they may even secretly just talk about you and, and the talk is heavy could be taurus could be cancer could be aries sagittarius leo it could be a male cancer i don't know um let's let's jump into another spread or see if we get another spread for um my aquarius 
So for some of you in the past, some of you dealing with somebody in the near future where, I, and this could be displaced um, energy. Someone else is having to make decision, heavy decisions, sneaking away from a connection, a relationship, a marriage that they hate. It's very hard for them to do, maybe because they are a father or something about their father, you know, their father did it or they might be divorcing friends and or family are stepping in, interfering. Um, but this person is focused in regards to maybe making necessary decision or changes or at least trying to get in control of what they may deem is out of control. It looks like you're you are an onlooker into this person's life, okay? Um, for some of my other Aquarius, what we're going to do is pick up the past and the present and we'll leave the near future. And we'll go into another spread. What can you tell me about Aquarius? Maybe another set of Aquarius energy, the past for Aquarius. Five of water. Okay, so things didn't turn out exactly how you thought they would. In the past, recent past, there was a lot of grief because the situation just did not manifest how you thought they would. How you thought it would or how you thought it should. This could be in regards to some love affair. This could be in regards to a marriage or a long-standing relationship. There's a lot of drama here. Or there was. Something ended. Something ended. It didn't end well. Maybe you weren't the only person involved with another person. Yeah, strength. It may have been a situation of where you thought you would be chosen. Where you thought you would have the victory over. Where you thought, um, you know, the nature of your relationship with a particular person was strong enough to manifest into something else this may have been a sexual relationship where it was just sex and intimacy but someone kept you in the dark they kept you in in mystery or you did this aquarius um and they wouldn't allow the relationship to move past the, the carnal nature. Move past the surface. They kept things on the surface. Even when you allowed them to go deep with you or deep into your life, they, they kept things on the surface with you. Okay? Um... You had to be strong and maybe what's, what it would happen here. And maybe walking away and maybe learning your worth uh, and, and uh, being independent and, and waiting, waiting for something to come along. Because you feel like you are separated either from this particular person or, or a, a particular a worthy indiv individual a worthy individual to align yourself with something also could have happened in the, t in, the in the nature of someone else lost their job and they, something about loss here and you had to pick up the pieces in regards to money and material like money you had to take care of the home you had to take care of everything. There, It was no longer a partnership because someone lost something. So you, you had to be the head here. For some of you, business did not in the past turn out so well. But you still maintained yourself. You still saw it through. You still were independent in the past. 
for some of you this was a situation of um you having to lean on someone you having to live with someone you had to merge with someone in order to you know regain that stability that you used to have what's going on in the near future it could have been family there's a lot of drama there though there's a lot of drama a lot of you know not knowing the other person's motive in the present we have the empress so very nice it's like you're recreating your life this is the year of recreation of uh, of doing the work if you have a business or you started a business it's going to be very abundant some of you got very serious about a business in the recent past in the present right now you it you're still building and it's still going well it says keep going and, and continue to do the work you may be very attractive there's a there's a lavishness if that's a word La like there's a there's an air about you that is very um lavish even when you're not trying to be there's something very distinct and refined and sophisticated and lavish and attractive about you in your nature where it, it it even attracts other people whether they're potential suitors or just random people who would like to get to know you um you just attract a lot of uh, right now you're attracting a lot of abundance you're attracting a lot of people there's something about you you have a star quality okay i don't know what that may be Five of Earth, though, it's about you seeing that in yourself, though. Some of you are so you're humble to a fault. Oh no, not me. Oh well, you know, I kind of just uh, well, you know, well, well, thank you, but yeah, okay, yeah, well, I'll, I'll take that into account. Oh yeah, I've heard that before, but I don't let that go to my head. There is something about you, Aquarius, that is um. It calls to people's lack. There's something about you that makes others jealous. Some of you, I don't, I'm just hearing this too. Some of you are away from your children. You're not in the same home as your children. Um, there's something about you and it has been with you for your entire life that just brings people to you. It's about you seeing it. It's about, but it has been downtrodden or suppressed or or uh, pushed down because it wasn't fostered. It, not fostered, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't cultivated. It wasn't nurtured. Maybe in your upbringing, you know, there was there's always something special about you. But maybe the very people who should have been. Uh, helping you develop that 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 specialty always you know downplayed it or looked at you as as other you know or looked at you as i'm here some some of you look it's poor relationship with mother it's poor relationship by way of competition um, there's always been drama and discord and dissension here. Somebody's thinking is off. Someone is more mature than the other. Whether it be mother or... I'm feeling like this is mother and daughter. Um, I don't know, guys. Um, something about... Some of you miss your mother. Some of you... You need to change the relationship here the relationship dynamic you need to speak to you need to talk you need to forgive you need to release and relinquish
write the world it would come up you you have certain achievement here it's like this is where you should be presently or this is where you're going well you got to get out of this mindset that either you put yourself in five of earth or that someone put you in you know from the time you were born put you in that place of always questioning yourself always questioning who you were and your worth and why you liked things why you wanted this why you want that why you have this why do you want to go there I'm hearing that this is like um, like early childhood for some of you and it's about go <coughs> about going back you know in, in in history your history and really dealing with uh, those issues because some of you are carrying them now in the near future we have the four of air doing some heavy thinking maybe even vacationing or resting some of you may even be bedridden sick hopefully not hope you have to think something through before you make some necessary change with either a Sagittarius or a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio coming up here with the Tower. In the near future, there's a thought process that goes before, before compromise, before you, you extend in the olive branch, before you coming in and being the peacemaker, the moderator. You gotta think something through. What is this tower? It causes a tower moment. Justice. Somebody is someone wanted to. This is coming up again. There is secret person or secret individual could be. A set of it could be siblings it could be neighbors it could be friends but there's someone who wanted to secretly keep you stuck somebody gets in threes or even two 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 people or three people get together and they do heavy talk about you I mean you are the topic of the entire conversation. There's an element of someone wanting to see you stuck. But this tower says something comes in all of a sudden. It shifts the energy, shifts something that was built on faulty ground anyhow. It says that a challenge arises in a project or a relationship, but this has historic base a historic basis. So meaning you've been here before. Or the challenge is it arrived it, it came about because of the history that you have with a particular person. Back to the history of mother of family something about a, a dynamic of somebody just doesn't like you and they get together and they talk about you the three of earth the three of air sometimes can talk about the the heavy judgment and the heavy talk 
uh, amongst family with the five of air the three three and five is eight somebody wants to keep you feeling like you are you are stuck it's almost as if they're in cahoots do know people that power have excuse me that words have power so just as much as you know if you listen to this reading and you can kind of say okay that might be blah 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 or yeah it does resonate with me you know that someone is either doing very heavy talk negative talk about you surrounding you or directly to you you only combat that with more words right and they have to be positive words they have to be either prayers or affirmations that you say on a daily about yourself to yourself directly because you can't just let this negative energy rest and dwell and continue to you know gain momentum even though they're doing it in secret you can't do that you have to be combating this get under some spiritual mentorship because there's someone heavily I mean it's like it's not even like um uh what am I gonna say it's not even like uh you know you you I, well I don't really I don't talk negative about anybody I just speak truth but if I were to gossip about someone right um, and I say yeah and um yeah that's why that happened to her and um you know nothing else is nothing good is going to happen to her and nothing will ha you know i'm hoping that she doesn't get or he doesn't get or they don't go or they won't have or when people do that consistent negative talk about anything or anybody but particularly about you aquarius because that's or who that's who we're talking about you have to be combating that get you a black candle burn your candle of protection say your affirmations Re uh, re return to sender all negative energy all negative words you have to be doing something the, the thing about it is i have listened to another reader and they were saying the same almost the same thing that is somebody I don't know. Maybe somebody's doing some spell work. What is this about for the Aquarius? It's somebody that gets in threes. So the there might be a breakthrough here for you. Maybe within a job, you get some financial abundance here. Then you might even get a message of love. And even in the midst of all this goodness, there's some, there's like something. You get a debt repaid to you. Also, it's like some money comes into you. If, if someone owed you, they pay you back. If you're waiting for money, it comes into you. If you've done good, good comes back to you. Here, though, here, this, here are these three people or these two people, and they start the talk. Also, this may be you, Aquarius, where you're you're making plans to. But once again, you still have jealousy around you. You're making secret plans to reveal. And to divorce a situation you're gonna have to forgive because you got a lot of blessings coming in it says run leave there's a situation there's an element of someone get open you know open mouth openness whatever I don't know there's there's a lot of talk here surrounding you and what you're doing Aquarius, I don't know. Um, it looks good though. Something that you do, you have done, something that's been with you for your entire life, 
it's going to bring you a lot of abundance <coughs> some of you need to go and fix a relationship with past person or, or really just start to accept you for who you are and you've got to come out of what someone told you you weren't or what you are or why you shouldn't have or why you shouldn't like or all of the jealousy here okay let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here for the Aquarius who has decision to make maybe around father or, or the father of this is about a move someone's supposed to help you move either by way of actually physically help you or or give you money or someone's supposed to hold up to their end of the bargain they didn't they just said things and they and they did not follow through but yeah decisions you got a decision to make around a move around someone who's not holding up their end of the bargain um they're actually trying to stagnate you volunteer welcome the new you still got newness here people are really trying to stagnate you aquarius um in every way but keep going and keep your plans to yourself everyone is not happy for you okay for those who have some really good energy coming in and those will, will be jealous, what is this about? Forgiveness. You got forgive here. You got to forgive them for they know not who they talk about, right? Have the courage to do so. This may even be an individual trying to return and say that they love you. You might even, even need to uh, forgive them. You got blessings coming in here. There might be a group of people you need to leave behind, seeking and finding. It's like someone just continues always trying to find out what the next move is, either for you or surrounding you. Or, um, yeah, spiritual growth here. Um, or, or they do, once again, they get into that circle and they talk about you. These are not your friends, okay? Um, you got new exercise program and spiritual growth. Do know that with getting active, getting the blood pumping and flowing, you got leaving at the bottom of the deck. Some of you need to leave these these people behind, leave old mindsets, old regimens behind. Um, do know with getting the the blood flowing and pumping comes new idea. Um, and you know you get in a place where spirit can speak to you your mind is clearing getting new fresh blood that was just stagnated in your feet you know for weeks because you weren't moving now that blood is pumping up to your brain you're getting the blood flowing and moving around and now you're getting a new fresh idea insight you know um not a doctor don't quote me on that but someone told me that <laughs> but anyway do know that just any form of exercise getting out and taking a walk if that is doable in your neck of the woods um do it get out get out in nature walk walk the block uh walk around your house if you can't get out um yeah but definitely you know get the blood flowing especially if you're feeling confused about decisions or your feelings you know just stagnant within your mind and you do creative work the only way you're going to get new creative idea is getting out and getting that blood flowing all right so we're going to go over to the website i want to see who this jealous person is you know what let's just so i'm not crazy because i am i've been seeing this for a while let's just ask the card
Wow. So I asked the cards, I said, is there someone jealous of Aquarius? So we know that if we get upright, that's a yes answer. And we get the Queen of Wands. What does she do? Magic. She's very good at manifesting. She, the wand suit is about movement, magic, making things happen in life. You may have a real live magician somewhere just... If they're not actually physically, you know, putting together potions and spells to keep you stuck, trapped, or whatever, they're just opening their mouth about you. They do nothing but talk negatively about you. This just popped out. Ace of Pentacles. Um, the lovers in reverse. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they secretly talk about you. This. This is a person who's who smiles in your face and then behind your back. They're doing all kinds of stuff. They're your friend. Could be a Piscean person. Could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. It could be anybody. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, I think everybody's here. Um Except for water. I don't see water, but um This is a person that just wishes you ill will. Once again, I want to keep you stuck and not able to make choices, better choices in your life, about your career, about love. Um I'm hearing also this is a person who wants to Somehow they want to keep you bound to them monetarily. You know, be cautious. Ask questions about people giving you money. You know, it's always great to receive, but sometimes those things come with strings attached. There is somebody who is definitely determined in regards to keeping you stuck. This is someone you have a relationship with, a business with, um, you could be married to. How they come off, their their personal or interpersonal uh, skills is to, you know, be your friend in your face and then behind your back. They're five of swords. They're the two of swords in front of you and then the five of swords when your back is turned says you might have to change see the pet see what's happening in your life is you're coming into your own I think this person feels it they know they know it they don't want it to happen you're coming out of lack out of um, not having confidence you're really coming into your own and, and you keep avoiding confrontation with them because you're manifesting something new maybe you're manifesting and releasing the old maybe even a move a move away from someone who's very dominant very bitchy very very over the top very very cutting with their words or someone else is doing this around you they're trying to manifest you back into their energy but there's there's somebody who does not like you Aquarius so we figure that out and they they actively do things to make sure as I cut the deck we get the five of swords again for the third time they make sure it's like they feel as if they're in competition with you so it's about, let me gain some information about this person, about Aquarius. I want to gain the upper hand. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to just, you know, completely keep them frustrated. Or I'm just going to continue to talk about them. I don't, I don't even think this person knows. Yeah, they don't know the power that they have within their words. They just being negative, being hateful, 
it's just an everyday thing for them. I don't think they have an altar where they are, you know, they have your name and your picture carved out and they're doing seances and, you know, rituals about you. They just make sure that they actively talk about you every chance that they get. And it's always negative talk. And it's always, you know, what they hope happens for you or that that they're happy that something isn't happening for you. Uh, so just keep in mind about that Aquarius, okay? So we know that that is a person. Let's get some advice here. I'm going to link the black candle below just because I, I, I rarely do that. You can buy a black candle wherever you are in the world. But if you want to, you know, take advantage of it, purchase it at the website. It will be below. Just burn, like I said, burn your black candle. Um, say your positive affirmations about your life. You can also get a green candle. If you know, know for sure, you have to know for sure who is talking about you. Who is putting negative energy in the universe about you or surrounding you. You get a green candle. You carve either their names or their initials on top of the candle. You burn it. And you just ask that God, you know, you rescind all negative energy back to that person. But you have to know that they're talking about you. You can't just take a wild guess. Um, I be careful with that. Because once again, I said you have to know. You have to know. I shouldn't even say that. I feel like I shouldn't have said that. Um, but you have to know. Don't just go shooting in the dark. Because that'll, that'll come back on you. And you can always take the high road. And just get you a black candle. Get you a white candle. And just pray for blessing. And, and thank, and thank uh, whoever your God is. Whatever that may be. Not even going to get on that. Um, thank them for protecting you from all negativity and and that'll work just as good as trying to carve someone's name on a candle especially if you don't know if they're actually talking about you okay so um whatever you want to do just keep in mind you got to know what you're doing don't just do it know what you're doing okay anyway let's get into this ten of spades the the trouble in the bad times this is the advice here. It's over, Aquarius. The hard times are done, okay? Um, This is the 10th month. They want you to know something is happening this month. And maybe that's why you're being combated by all of these different things. Some of you, that five of pentacle coming out, you're separated from children. You may be even homeless. You may not live on the street, but you don't have a home of your own. Um... You also, but then we have the five of pentacle in reverse. It looks like some of you are moving. You did have the ten of wands. You're going to move into your own home. Some of you are leaving situations, and people are just not having it. They're upset about it. Three of clubs here. Yeah, you are looking out into the horizon. You are making long term plans and, and uh, goals for yourself. There is something coming back to you. There will be the opportunity and the need to celebrate because all of the work that you have done thus far this year, the years past, the last three years, it was not for no for nothing. It was for something. Um, you will see the harvest here, okay? Uh, your ships will come to dock. Things will turn around for you. Let's see. To a spade. Um not without opposition once again not without someone being there a, there's a boulder here someone's trying to get in the midst of new love new marriage wow 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 yeah wow ace of spade at the bottom of the deck 
So all of this newness comes in for you either this month. You'll see the fullness of it in the coming months next month. Uh, next year. It's here for you maybe the next two months. Someone is not happy about it. There's once again there's someone showing up in, in complete opposition of you you flourishing. There's newness all around for you. New love, new marriage, new friendship. There can even be new business that it is going well for you. Self employment. There is a change of journey and or home. Like I said, some of you are moving. Then we have the Ace of Diamond. That could be a large purchase. Maybe you're purchasing your first home. Maybe you're, you know, signing that lease. You're making a large purchase, purchasing a car. Um, you're getting an engagement ring. Sometimes that can be an engagement ring also. So you're open to it all. Your heart is open. Your heart has been transformed. You're getting the desires of your heart because you no longer have a heart issue. You know, when people say follow your heart, you have to ask yourself, well, you know, well, how is this person's heart or how is your heart? They say follow your heart for one of the great books says that um, the heart is deceitful in, in all, all its ways. So it's about changing your heart. When people say you have a heart issue, that means that what you desire is um, it, it may be what has been a part of your demise what has been a pro a part of um you being not able to move forward or maybe it has been a part of um your takedown is what i'm hearing so it's about shifting your heart what do i desire on a heart and soul level is it goodness is it peace is it uh, serenity is it love or is it jealousy is it hatred at the real heart and the core of you or another person? When you experience people like that, when you get to know their nature, you you just you write it off as they have a heart issue. They really do. To the heart of them, to the core of them, who are they? So it looks like you're getting all that you desire because your heart has been transformed. It's been changed. The heart chakra. Wow, you are playing so many faces here. You're the joker. You are going on to a new path, a new development. You have a... Uh, you're walking a new path here, starting over. Not without these people being mad, though. Not without people talking about you. Not without you having to divorce or separate from someone who is just an infidel. Either that is... Literally, you were in a marriage with them and they were that. Or this is a friend who, or, or family member who is like this. Smile on your face, behind your back. They're an infidel. They don't care about you. They do whatever they can do. They say whatever they can say in regards to you. They could be an untrustworthy person, a liar, a cheat, um, deceptive. Um, you, you're hesitating before making the decision to maybe either cut them out, cut them loose. Because there's some nature about them. This is dualistic. You know, there's some nature about them that's good. You're like, well, they're, they're fun. They're funny. They do nice things for me sometimes. But you don't know what they're doing behind your back also. Nine of Cups. There's someone who is untrustworthy here. But then there's someone who's also trying to shift and change the tide because they miss you. But they're hesitating to come toward you because they don't they don't know how you feel. They want to give you a love offer, genuine love offer. They want you to expand with them. Wow. They want you be careful. Do ask what this person wants. What do they want? Okay. They want you to engage again in this love affair. And they be, may be giving you their, their truth about this. They may be giving you good news. 
what they want with you is reconciliation maybe marriage later in life it looks like they 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 want to be a helpful person this may come all of a sudden out of the blue it puts you in a place of having to make a choice about this person because they they hurt you before uh or they put you in a place of being in a love affair before okay maybe they're coming back and they're changed they are renewed all together yeah they, they want to make peace with you they say that they've gotten over all of that all right so aquarius this has been interesting to say the least um this is just a random read how many minutes are we in are we in like an hour we are my gosh let's get out of here um I don't know. It's Spirit just wanted you to know something about somebody, about particular people. There's someone coming back. You're going to have to make a decision. Do you really want this person? A lot of doors are going to open for you. Everybody's not happy for you. Please keep some things to yourself. I think you know who you can confide in and who you can't. Um, if you need to get a personal reading, take advantage of the 30 minute phone reading. It's still on sale. Um, Take advantage of the uh, I guess I'll put it out there. It was only for uh, subscribers to my uh, website, but I'm gonna do the two questions for fifteen dollars. I'll pull a few cards for you for your two questions, only two. You can go ahead and, and send me five questions. I'm going to answer two. Okay? That's for those people. If you're not one of those people, don't be offended. But anyway, um, <laughs> two questions. $15. Um, it's going to come to you via email. It's not a video recorded reading or a phone reading. It's going to be email. You're going to look at the cards. You're going to read the, the uh, meanings of the cards and... And then hopefully it'll bring you a lot of clarity about what's going on with you, okay? All right, so take advantage of that. Just trying to make things, you know, more feasible for some people. Um, go ahead. It, 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 it's good. If you're feeling moved to, if you have a question of, if you want to know if this particular person is jealous of you. Or if this particular person is coming back. Or will you get this job? Will you know? Will you move? Whatever, ask real questions. You know, um, use your money wisely. Some people sometimes I'm, I'm venting now. Um, people, you know, send questions and they're so vague. Will I find love? I don't know. Um, you can make it a yes answer by way of the cards, but what kind of love are you looking for? You know, let's be more distinct. Let's be very, very specific. If you want a husband, then let's ask the cards. Will you ever get married? You know, let's let's break this thing all the way down. Stop trying to ask all these vague questions because you, then you'll get the answer. Yes, you will find love. You you might be in love with this person that you find, but they're not in love with you. So be very 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 specific with any reader me the next uh be very specific specific in life right uh, when you're writing down what you really want don't just say a man or a woman you know you've got to get very very specific very specific very specific if you know what i mean um yeah I mean, all work and body parts, all that stuff. You got to get very specific if that's what you want. Do know if your list is three pages long, you might be waiting a long time for that person. You know, if that's what you want. Or maybe, you know, spirit will work on your heart to find compromise on those three pages. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Okay, be very specific when you're sending questions. Okay, people, just, you know, be, if you want John, don't be fearful of the answer if you, if the question is, will John and I ever 
be together in a committed relationship. So you're fearful of that that answer. So you send me a question like, will John and I be together? Well, shit, you probably are together right now. I mean, I can answer that without pulling the card. Yes. But let's be very specific. You want John in a committed relationship with you. So that's the question, right? All right. Anyhow, um, I still love you all. And and I, <laughs> if you get me on the phone and you ask vague questions like that, I just rearrange them for you. You know, it, my... my um, my normal people they'll get in the comments and probably tell you how <laughs> i'll say so you really want to ask the cards okay uh, <clears throat> i only speak like that because i'm speaking with you and not at you because i've been that person it's like oh you know being very vague because you don't want the real answer um or maybe you just don't know how to formulate the question and that's okay too so anyway, um, this has been very long. I, I haven't done a long reading in probably years. But anyway, Aquarius, take care. Many blessings to you. Take advantage of all of the specials that I have below. Um, I'm going to post also. Put a little post up. All right, take care, guys. Bye.